This is Operation Obtundity, a planned exercise at York Minster to prepare emergency services for a real-life terror attack. Police, fire and rescue and ambulance crews descended upon the cathedral in response to a staged acid assault upon a VIP visitor, a hostile vehicle and knife attack and a siege, all involving 300 volunteers. The iconic landmark is one that needs protecting as it's visited by thousands each year, including royalty. It's at least 12 months in, in the planning, this, this exercise, uh, and comes at a really important uh, juncture for, the, uh, for, for your minister, for the police we have here. It was less than 12 months ago we had the King and the Queen here for the Royal Maundy. So high profile, very high profile visitors do happen regularly at your minister. We need to be prepared. The exercise is part of a regular counter-terrorism programme which takes place across high-profile venues in the UK to test the response of emergency services to a series of no-notice violent attacks to stop them and save lives. This scenario is really important for us to practice. Sadly, terrorist incidents like this have happened in the past. We've had the Manchester Arena inquiry and the learning outcomes from that have driven all blue light services to train and prepare in this way. We want to improve from things that have happened in the past and this is the best way to do that, to train together as blue light services, challenge our people as much as we can uh, and we've done that this evening just so people can prepare in the right way should this sadly happen in the future. The operation was invaluable for all emergency services including fire and rescue who saved and treated casualties at the scene. And it's a long time in the making is this you know it's not every day you get to uh, run around the minster like we are and put in people with legs and blood everywhere and it's extremely important for us to one test there's a fire service our response and our procedures but two to test that multi-agency response and the procedures that go with that as well to prosecute those responsible for a terrorist attack it's crucial for police to interview all witnesses and a command center was set up near the minster for police to hone their skills Obviously there's a long-term investigation that would come out of something like this and we have what we call the golden hour principle which is about capturing that key evidence as early as possible because obviously as time goes on people's memories fade and so that vital information can be lost. So it's really important that we get capture as much detail as possible um, from them at an early stage. Emergency services here in North Yorkshire are now more prepared than ever for a terrorist attack should the worst happen. Anna Riley, GB News, York.